Right, here we go. Most haunted church around this area, and we know it is because people come out here. So, change your torch to see if a uh, decent torch and change off camera so that we can uh, see if we pick anything up or not. Let's see what this says. Wildflowers and what have you, that was. Um, I haven't got much information on this. All I know is it was something to do with Black Plague. Um, and everybody came here. to take refuge from it and there's a very small stream that runs along the bottom as you can see that it's just really old graves I'd be surprised if it's open because I know there's writings on the walls and right well that part's open this part won't be We're in. Uh, can I not turn the flash on constant on this camera? No. You sure? I don't think so. I've tried before. Right. So, I don't know what you can see, guys, but this church, look. There we go. 606 something. Look at these. Drawings on the walls. Mm -hmm. I do know that it was, I mean, this is really old, old beams. Um, put the camera up, see if you can see that. Wow. But, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty, Creepy, actually, but there you go. There's a better view of it. You can see all the drawings. On the walls, all the way along. Now, I do know they found this. Um, can you put your torch up there as well, Jim? Mm -hmm. They found this, all these drawings, when the plaster came away. Um, so, it's all been left on there for everybody to come and see. But this church is absolutely amazing. In the middle of nowhere. Um, it's supposed to be very haunted. It's very cold, I will say that. Definitely. Very cold. Um, there's some more there, like stars. Let's see if. Uh, old. I think you can see that guys, can you see that? Let's try and uh, is that zoom a, in. Is that a family? Um, At the top is yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. There we go, there's stars and stuff on the wall. I think. Yeah. And then you get this sort of stuff all over the place. It's like somebody's drawn on what should have been bricks. Um, still got all the books in. Got a Bible. And there you go. There's all the. Um, don't know if you can see that. If I do that, can you put yours on my jet further along? Thank you. They're really old. Um, 
these. But the old pews, and they are old, very old. Um, yeah, you've got this. Which is nice to see. What did you say that was? It's the Bible. It's the Bible. Should have bought a better um, torches, really. This is all about the church um, and what happened and things like that. I think that's basically what it is. Serpent of Eel, something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit odd. <laughs> Look at this door. My torch is running out. Is it? Yeah. It's a bit dimmer than it was. It's nice, we're in here in the dark then. <laughs> right, let's carry on. There's a funny noise going on in here. Mm. Right, what have we got on the floor then? In memory of... The wise who something I can't grip that. Out. It's in memory of the wise who something. It's quite long, so it's it's quite worn out. Um, there's some more on the floor. I'll try and get that for you before the camera runs out. Or the torch runs out. Lovely window there, and as you can see, all this the beams and everything. Uh, let's see if we can get this. So, yeah, um, you see guys here on our own, in the dark, pitch black, absolutely smashing, in a church. lovely church it is. It's the first time I've actually been in this one. Um, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? But yeah. Do you want to shut that, Jeff? Yeah. So yeah, um so like don't think there's any writing on there. Things are carved in it. Are they carved in it, are they? Yeah. Don't know what it is. That's old. Really old. Looks like the sun there. Yeah. 
1644 carved into the stone I think that's the only one but yeah as I said guys apparently this is uh, really haunted um, as I say I've known paranormal teams to come out here there we go there's a symbol on there as well that's better um, T-O heart E one with two um, leaf rakes. Interesting. I don't know if anybody knows what that means. But somebody loves somebody. It's like two rakes. Um, there's a whole old wood with a door obviously shut with a little cast there. Um, but yeah, as I said, I do know that it has something to do with the plague. Um, and that they all came in for refuge. But as you can see, it's, it's all old graves. Richard Thomas, son of Thomas and Anne Howes, who died April 2nd, 1831, age 62. And Edward, their son, who died on the coast of Africa. Wow. 1793, age 26. Oh, bless, that was young. Who's this one? Thomas Howes, late of Sirencester, who died the 17th of November, November 1788. Age 57. But the stones that we need to read really are pretty much blank. Um, and obviously, there are a lot of unmarked graves in here. That's better. Can't sacred, really make. Sacred to the memory of. John son of Stephen Stephen Rich Ricketts Mamari Ricketts Stephen Mamari Ricketts who died October 1837 age 35 see this is what I mean most of the graves as well out here you will notice they're all quite young um, Joseph can't really make that one out because it's got so much sacred to the age memory. earth sacred to the memory of yeah you can't really age 27 1845 this is what I mean. This is it's quite strange, really. There's so many, but they were so young. Right, my torch is just about to give up, so mine's yours is better than mine at the moment. Yeah, it's not far off. Yet. I don't think there's any. Oh, we have got a new one. Yeah. 1900, age 52 years. The Lord love it in whom he... Just somewhere. It's, it's very old English, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's like... It's really good, but... Right, well, we're going to call it here. I'm going to take a few pictures. Um, 
and then we're done I think people we're, we've done quite a bit today uh, so hope everyone enjoys it and we'll catch you soon